What happens when you leave town without a starter Pokemon? My name is Mike from Poketips, and today we're back once again testing and seeing how Pokemon games react when you leave town and enter the world of Pokemon without any of your own. Today, we're starting off in the Sinnoh region with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Now, Diamond and Pearl are a little different than your average Pokemon game. Normally, you can't leave town without having a Pokemon at all. However, in Diamond and Pearl, your rival Barry wants to leave town and go explore a lake, so technically you can leave town without a starter, but you can't go into the grass until you get a Pokemon. However, we're gonna use the walkthrough wall cheats and break that rule. Alright, so let's turn on the walkthrough walls cheats, and the best part about all of this is now we have a little buddy that follows us wherever we go. So let's go walk in some grass and see what happens, or... Oh wow, it won't let us enter any grass over here. What about if I try going from like a sneaky angle over here? Nope, wow, even if I try entering from inside of a tree, they're not letting me enter that grass. Alright, we gotta go somewhere else. I want to see if I could keep walking with Barry around to other routes. Yes! Oh my god! Look at this, we're in Sanjum Town right now with Barry. Oh wait, Dawn caught us. Oh, there you are! Please come with me! The professor is waiting. Are we just leaving Barry there? No! Oh, whoa! <laughs> what just happened there? <laughs> we have two Barrys. What the? Yeah, what the is right. We've got one Barry over there and one Barry over here. <laughs> that is so funny. I feel like I'm in one of those time travel movies and I just created a little time paradox by bringing Barry somewhere he's not supposed to be. Oh, I guess we can't bring Barry inside of the building with us. Alright, we're gonna reset and try to find a wild Pokemon again. Yeah, come on Barry, just follow me through these trees over here, everything's okay. Now let's see, can we enter grass on Route 202? 201 we couldn't, but yes we can, and oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, alright, so let's see, what happens when we don't have a Pokemon in Diamond and Pearl? Uh, Wow, okay, just a black screen. All right, I'm gonna try another encounter, but this time without Barry following me around. Whoa, okay, all right, a wild Bidoof appeared and Starly, it puts me in a double- <laughs> What is going on? Wait, it's doing stuff, I didn't do anything. I did not press anything. What in God's name is going on right now? What's going on with that safari ball? This is the strangest thing in the whole entire world. What is playing right now? What just happened here? I didn't do anything. And I guess we're back to this black screen again. We have to try that again. That is the weirdest thing ever. All right, let's go in this grass again. I usually don't do wild encounters this many times, but so far it has been so crazy. All right, so it looks like it puts us in every wild battle now is a wild double battle with two of me. I don't know what we're sending out. I think we're using ourselves as level zero Pokemon and it just automatically starts like a catching tutorial. I don't know, maybe the game since we went to Jubilife City is trying to show us how to catch a Pokemon? This is the strangest thing. And we're catching it and that other Pokeball is just spinning over there. And the game's gonna crash again, isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing I could do from this point on. I would love to check and see if we actually have that Pokemon, but it just crashes. It plays the music, but I can't do anything. Well, that was pretty crazy. Let's try out some trainer battles now. I believe this guy's a trainer. Yes, he is. Okay, it takes him forever to walk down to me. You're a Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so battle we must. Battle indeed we must. Now, are we going to send out two people as well? No, it looks like it's just me. All right. And he's going to send out his Starly. Now, what am I going to send out? I don't think... Oh, whoa. What is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> a shiny, glitchy Bulbasaur box. That's a new one. Alright, so it looks like in this battle we can actually do stuff. So first I want to check out the Pokemon menu, see if it shows anything. And no, it shows nothing at all, which is the weirdest thing ever. Being in a battle, checking your Pokemon menu and not seeing anything. How about fight? What does fight do? Oh. Alright, lots of question marks. Has no moves left. I don't even know what to call this Pokemon, it doesn't have a name of any sort at all, and the game just shows me lots of question marks, so Tackle doesn't do anything to me, I guess we just lose the battle. Aw, you're not strong like the other glitchy Pokemon I've used, I'm disappointed in you, shiny Bulbasaur glitchy box thing. 
and of course, we're gonna have to try healing up our Pokemon and seeing what happens. So unfortunately, Barry, I have to say goodbye to you because I don't think you could come in the building with me. He definitely tried, though. All right, so let's talk to Nurse Joy and see if the game freaks out like it did back in Red and Blue. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. And a ball does show up on the machine, even though we don't have anything. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. And, oh, all right. It looks like she keeps the ball over there. That's certainly bizarre. I don't have any Pokemon for her to keep, and I guess the game doesn't really understand what to do either. Let's see, if I try healing again, does anything else happen? No, it doesn't even update the animation at all. All right, that's pretty weird. And since I did a whole video on entering the void in the void glitch, I kind of want to see what happens when I bring Barry into the void with me. Oh, wait, whoa. Oh, all right. I think I just lost Barry in the void, guys. I think he just disappeared. Can I talk to him? Yeah. Oh, that's so creepy. That's so creepy. He's there, but now he's just a little shadow. Yeah, this is going to be a very awkward conversation with his mom. Well, after losing my friend Barry in the Void, I think it's only fair for me to try a game where my rival hates me. Pokemon Gold version. Yeah, that guy really does not like me. Alright, let's go ahead and leave town because everybody's kind of mean here. Now, as usual, this lady is going to try to stop us, and usually she's the reason why you can't leave town, but you already know what I'm going to do. I have that walk through walls code on right now, and we're just going to walk right through the trees over here and see what happens. And it's not like Gen 1 where Professor Oak keeps walking. This game actually lets you go by, which is kind of cool. And, oh, alright, I'm trying to encounter a Pokemon here, and it looks like the screen just changes color and skips the encounter. Wait, so it's supposed to be dangerous when I walk out of town without a Pokemon, but it seems like with this, I could just walk without a Pokemon all day long. You know, I kind of actually prefer this. Now we can get through the game so much quicker. We really can because it just skips every single wild encounter. That's amazing. Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found the trainer. Oh, and it just skips the trainer battles too? So if you don't have any Pokemon, you could skip wild encounters, you could skip trainer battles. Let's see if it works on the gym leaders too, because that would be really crazy. Yeah, it does! And we just get the gym badge just like that! So I've been playing the game for all of 12 minutes and boom, I have my first badge. Definitely very well earned. Now, Nurse Joy in this game is kind of weird. I tried testing her out many times, and 99% of the time, nothing crazy happened. However, one time I pressed the B button, and then this happened. I'm not sure what caused it, what I did differently, or how I could recreate it, but I was only able to get this to happen once. It was very weird. Alright, so I have an interesting idea that a lot of you guys wanted me to test out. So, we don't have any Pokemon right now. However, if we talk to this guy after beating Faulkner, he'll actually give you an egg that'll hatch into Togepi. So we're gonna go ahead and take this egg, and then I'll try playing the game with just the egg in my party, and see what happens. So now we do have the Pokemon menu. It looks like him giving the egg unlocked that for us. It's not gonna hatch just yet, so let's see what happens if I try going to Wild battles or trainer battles now. Oh, alright, so I got into a wild battle, it's playing the trainer battle music? Wait, what? Youngster Albert wants to battle, but I'm in the grass. This is not Youngster Albert. Oh, and the battle just ends? Can we get into another one? Is it gonna be a wild- Okay, now it's playing the wild encounter music. That's really weird. Now, I really don't know much about why my wild encounter turned into a trainer battle. I'm assuming it has something to do with me skipping the trainer battles from before and them still being in the memory, so the game probably thinks I'm supposed to be in a trainer battle. Although, again, that's just my guess. I don't really know. Is it gonna kick me out of this battle really quickly, too? I think her name is Liz. I remember she would always call you a whole bunch in gold and silver. So she has her Nidoran female, and for me, it looks like the screen's just gonna go white and yeah, kick me out of the battle again. So it looks like even if we have an egg in our party, the game is not gonna let us get into that battle. After hatching my Togepi, now that I have a Pokemon, everything goes back to normal. The only weird thing that I notice is it seems like every time I get into a wild battle or a trainer battle, there's sprites flash at the bottom of the screen, which doesn't normally happen. So maybe there's some part of the game that's still glitched, but overall, gold and silver, I was expecting them to be a lot more glitchy than they were. Alright, now it's time to take on Generation 3, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire versions. 
Now, I've done a lot of videos lately on Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald glitches, so we're probably going to run into some of the same glitch Pokemon that we've seen in those videos, but I'm still curious to see what happens when we leave town without a starter Pokemon. And as usual, we have the little kid trying to stop us. If you go into the tall grass at the sides of the road, wild Pokemon will appear. It's not safe if you don't have any Pokemon with you. Really? Have you tried doing that in the Johto region? It seems pretty safe out there. But anyway, we'll walk through the trees, and this is actually kind of funny. We see Professor Birch getting chased by that little poochie poochie right over there, and we didn't go through the whole cutscene, so it looks kind of weird seeing them run in the middle of a ledge. But anyway, let's run into a wild Pokemon of our own, and I'm pretty sure that we're going to send out a Decamark, just like we do when we use the Pomegberry glitch. So let's see, and yes, welcome back, Decamark. How do you do? I just saw you not too long ago. Whoa, this is so weird. Look at, look at this. I'm hitting the up button. Look at all these things I'm hitting on the menu. Now that is definitely new. I was not expecting that. I was expecting something to happen. Oh, all right. Well, guys, I think we broke the game. That is the sound of a crashing Game Boy. And in trainer battles, we are once again going to send out Decamark. Now, do I get any glitchy moves to use? No, it looks like we're just going to instantly lose the battle no matter what. That's unfortunate. Nurse Joy, guess who's back? It's Poketip, your favorite trainer. Oh, okay, she fills everything up, and seven, eight, ten, where are- what? Alright, Nurse Joy, uh, I think you really need a vacation. 